Hey, what's up guys? Bodie here, BodieDavison.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook page on iPhone. So how to create a Facebook page on iPhone in 2021. And let's get straight into it. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like for me. Please comment down below any questions or comments you have and make sure you hit subscribe. All right, so here we are on my Facebook news feed. And the first thing we're going to do is go to the three bars on the right. Then we're going to scroll down to pages. We're just going to go create. And it just tells you this, get started. So what category best describes the page that you want to create? For the one I'm doing, it's just gonna be personal blog, but you can choose whatever category you fit into. We'll go next. Then you're just gonna have the page name. Mine's gonna be dad tips for something new that I'm working on. Soon to be a first time dad, so a page I'm going to work on. Do I have a website? No, I don't have a website for it at the moment. So I'll just click, I don't have a website. You can update this later though, so it doesn't really matter. Go next. This is where you add images to the page. I don't have the images on my iPhone at the moment, but I would add them here, but we'll just go done and we can add them later. All you would do is click on this and then add them. So the page is created, but it does look blank without a profile picture or a cover photo. So I'll just add one. So it does come up with this if you go away from the page and come back. And so they're important next steps they're saying. And they're just things that you're going to need to fill out. So we are going to have to add a profile picture and add a cover photo. You can invite your friends to like the page. You can create a welcome post. You can connect to WhatsApp. You can add an action button for visitors. And then they'll want you to add stuff to your like about section, things like that. They really just want you to fill out the page. So if we just add a profile picture, we'll just click edit. And we're going to add this one as the profile picture. Make sure that it fits in the cropped area because... Obviously that matters for how it's gonna look. We'll go use, and then we'll go add a cover picture. So those two are uploaded. We'll invite friends. So when you go to invite friends, you can select all 555. So just invite who you want. Sometimes you don't want your friends to see your business pages, things like that. For now, I just won't invite anyone. I won't bother with the welcome post yet. I won't bother with the WhatsApp. I'll just show you what the add button feature looks like. So this could be like shop now and then a link to your website, for example, or you could just have it as send message. And there's a few other options there as well. But most likely, most people are gonna have it as book now or shop now, depending on what your business page is all about. Maybe you have it as get quote. So if we just went shop now, then you would have a link to your website here and then just save that. So anyone that clicks your shop now button on your Facebook page would just get direct links straight through to your website. So I just created a shop now button just to show you what it looks like. Now we'll just click that down, refresh this. So it's asking me still to complete the page with a few things. Some of the things that it's asking are the about section. So they're always gonna want you to fill out this stuff as well. So enter your website, email, phone number. There's a lot of different things that you can fill out there, but obviously you guys can figure that out yourself. We just go home. So you can see the cover photo updated there and then the profile picture. So it's starting to look a lot more like an actual page now. The next thing you wanna do is obviously create that first post with this button and that'll just be like a welcome message just so people can know what the page is about if they come across it. You definitely wanna have some sort of content on the page. I'd recommend doing a few posts so when people come onto the page, it actually looks like an active page. If there's no posts on the page, people will quickly bounce off the page. You can go view as over here so you can see what it looks like to other people. So all it's showing other people at the moment is that I've updated the cover photo and updated the profile picture, but there is no first post like I was just talking about. So that's something you want to do. You can see my shop now button is there. I just ended up putting YouTube as the link. So if I click on that, you can edit that link there or you can delete the button or change it, whatever you want to do. So we'll just go cancel. But really next steps are just coming across to the about page here and filling out all this information. This stuff actually matters, so it needs to be filled out. You can add all the info in here, change the action button, add hours to the page, because obviously a lot of you are gonna create a business page here. And then there's more stuff as well there that you can add. You can also, when you have a page like this, add a group and the group can be linked to this page. So it's easy as creating a group here and link your group. You can create events. This will just be all of your posts. This will be all your videos, your photos, and your community will be people that have posted on your wall. There'll be comments and stuff on here. So people can post on your wall. You can turn that on or off as well though as an option. So that pretty much sums up how to create a Facebook page on iPhone in 2021. 
It's actually quite easy to create a Facebook page. As you can see, it didn't take long. Just make sure you fill out all of the things, but just make sure you fill out the about section and all of that so you finish off the profile, but Facebook will prompt you to finish it if you don't. So all of this stuff in here, fill that out and then have fun messing around with your newly created Facebook page and create it all on your iPhone. So easy. Thanks very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like for me. Comment down below any questions you have on any of that and make sure you hit subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.